Ever since the Tortured Poets Department dropped, everyone has been wondering whether or not it will be added as a section in the Eras Tour. Taylor was on break when the album came out, so there have been a ton of theories flying around about what she would do. And now we know. On Thursday, the Eras Tour returned for the European leg, starting in Paris, and Tortured Poets was added to the tour. However, there were many, many changes to the tour, and I'm gonna break down everything that changed and everything you need to know about the new Eras Tour. Please subscribe if you enjoy. At the time of making this video, she has only played that Thursday show in Paris, so if there are more changes after this at other shows, apologies. Going through the show chronologically, the first change is the opening act. Paramore are opening for the European leg and previously opened for the Eras Tour on its first two nights in Glendale, Arizona. Since then, their setlist has changed and they now perform the following. Hard Times, interspersed with the Blondie song Heart of Glass, Burning Down the House, Still Into You, Caught in the Middle, Brick by Boring Brick. The only exception, that's what you get. Ain't it fun? And this is why. I'm not the biggest Paramore fan, so anyone who is, please comment down below whether you're happy with this setlist. In terms of the actual intro to the tour, it's all pretty similar. Applause is still the final pre-show song before the countdown, indicating the beginning of the actual show and letting people know that Taylor is about to get on stage. The intro video is very similar and still features the same visuals of the midnight's clock fading into the construction of the lover house. But the voiceover of Taylor naming all of her eras now includes the tortured poets department. The first era is Lover. The existing setlist we had was Miss Americana and the Heartbreak Prince. Cruel Summer. The man, you need to calm down, lover and the archer. The way she enters the stage is the same. She still does her little speech before the man, and she still does a little speech before lover. The two significant changes to this era is that she now wears orange outfits, and sadly that she cut the archer. The next era is fearless. And for this, the existing setlist we had was fearless. You belong with me, and love story. Because this is already a short era, most people were expecting no cuts from this section, and they were correct. Thankfully, nothing was cut. The staging and intro video were also the same, with the only noticeable change being Taylor's dress, which is now silver and black, and seems to be the tortured poet's colors, rather than Fearless's usual gold. The next era is where things start to get legitimately chaotic. For every other show, Fearless leads straight into Evermore. But now, we go from Fearless straight into Red which is usually way later in the show. So the songs we normally get from Red are 22. We are never ever getting back together. I knew you were trouble, and all too well 10. I think if cuts were going to be made, a lot of Swifties including myself were fine with the idea of any of the Red singles being shortened or removed, as long as all too well 10 was still there. But this is another era with no cuts. In fact, other than its place in the tour, there are basically no changes whatsoever to the Red section. It has the same intro video. It has the same staging. She even wore the usual clothes, with the exception of the writing on her shirt changing to say, this is not Taylor's version. And there are a ton of fan theories around what this actually means, but I'm still unsure. After this, we now go into Speak Now, which is one of the most significantly changed eras. The intro for this era is completely different. We now have footage of a flower blossoming over an instrumental of Enchanted with a ton of dancers on stage. Taylor appears in a ball gown as usual, although this is a new dress, and she sings Enchanted. However, she sadly cut Long Live. And this was really disappointing for me. This was one of the songs I really hoped she wouldn't cut, especially considering it wasn't on the Eras tour at first, but was added after fans asked for it so much. So that sucks but I knew I was probably gonna lose a song that I love. There were also a lot of theories that she would put Castles crumbling in the Speak Now section because it features Hayley Williams from Paramore, but that didn't happen. And now Speak Now is back down to just one track. The next era is Reputation, and we normally expect Ready for it. Delicate, don't blame me, and look what you made me do. I think a lot of people were thinking Ready for it might get cut since she has skipped it in previous shows, but it was included. The setlist was the exact same and Taylor hilariously wore the same outfit. A lot of fans have been waiting on a new reputation outfit since she's wore the same one every single night, but it's still unchanged. I personally don't mind at all since this is probably my favorite ever stage outfit of hers. 
After reputation, we got a new video of a snake turning white, the color of tortured poets. We then see a black snake slithering and getting closer and closer to the camera, before panning out to reveal that it's on the grass of the folklore cabin. And this is a really cool little transition into the folklore era, but we lose the intro video of Seven. Again, this is one where people were expecting cuts. The songs we normally get are the one, Betty, the last great American dynasty, August, Illicit Affairs, My Tears Ricochet, and Cardigan. Instead of closing with Cardigan, she actually opened with it. She then goes into Betty. After that, she suddenly appeared at the piano, which is obviously not what usually happens. And she made a speech about how Folklore and Evermore are sister albums, and she has reunited the sisters by mashing them into one era. And the songs we normally get from Evermore are Tis the Damn Season, Willow, Marjorie, Champagne Problems, and Tolerated. So at the piano, she started playing Champagne Problems. After Champagne Problems, she played August, then Illicit Affairs, My Tears Ricochet and Marjorie. After Marjorie, there's a new effect of Thunder and Lightning, which is the transition into Willow. And after Willow, Taylor exits the stage and ends the Folklore Evermore section. So because that was so chaotic, I've shown the existing set lists for both sections on screen. Here's the new set list. And here are the songs she cut which are the one, the last great American dynasty, tis the damn season, and tolerate it. So there are a lot of cuts from this section, but I think people were expecting that. I will really miss the staging of tolerate it with the elaborate dinner table set. But overall, if songs were going to be cut, I think the right ones went. After this, we get the usual folklore to 1989 transition video leading into the 1989 era. And in this section, we normally get style, Blank Space, Shake It Off, Wildest Dreams, and Bad Blood. And the setlist for this section is the same. Taylor was wearing a new outfit, which is really reminiscent of the iconic 1989 tour skater skirt outfit. So I really liked that, and I'm happy that the songs are unchanged. Normally after 1989, we get surprise songs, then Midnights. But after Taylor exited from the stage, we got a brand new video of papers falling everywhere like in the Fortnite music video, revealing the brand new Tortured Poets era section. The screen reveals an unraveling scroll which turns into a road, before cages fall from the sky onto the desolate land. The dancers walk single file down one side of the stage like prisoners, and Taylor appears wearing her trademark Victorian-inspired gown. She opens the Tortured Poets era with But Daddy I Love Him, and the choreography is so fun. She then plays the bridge of So High School. After that, she plays Who's Afraid of Little Old Me. I love the staging of this song. The background screen is black and white and covered in smoke. And the stadium is covered in these chaotic green lasers while Taylor stands on a moving stage. And at the end, the screen shows Taylor with her eyes lit entirely white like a monster. I actually think this is up there with songs like Illicit Affairs as a standout moment on the tour. After this, she plays Down Bad with a UFO aesthetic. Then she plays Fortnite with the Asylum aesthetic from the music video, and she stands on a tilted bed as a stage. After this, she plays the smallest man who ever lived with a marching band behind her. Again, the staging here is fantastic. And this is another standout moment. And speaking of standout moments, after this, Taylor's lifeless body is carried by the dancers, and they act out a scene that looks like something from a silent movie. It's really funny and creative and leads to an outfit change from Taylor's big white dress to a black sequin two-piece with a gold blazer. The dancers push Taylor like they are forcing her into performing, and she perfectly transitions into I can do it with a broken heart. For me, personally, this was the number one song I wanted her to add from Tortured Poets, so I'm very happy. And this song features the hat and cane choreography we saw her rehearsing. At the end of the section, we get a classic the end screen like at the end of the Fortnite music video, marking the end of the section. After she leaves, Taylor reappears for the surprise song section, which normally comes right after 1989. There were different theories about what would happen with this section, since in the Asian leg she started doing exclusively mashups, and obviously there were questions about whether the non-included tortured poet songs will be added to the surprise song selection. On the first Paris night, she played Paris, obviously and then Love of My Life on piano. So for now, it seems that she has returned to full songs rather than mashups, and that the other tortured poet songs have been entered into the selection. 
so we'll probably see them at future dates. She also has a new dress for the surprise songs, which is really cute. And of course, the final section of the show is Midnight's. I'm actually glad she's still ending with this, rather than Tortured Poets, because I don't think Tortured Poets has a song that would be as good of a closer as Karma. So the songs we normally get for Midnight's are Lavender Haze, Anti-Hero, Midnight Rain, Vigilant, Bejeweled, Mastermind, and Karma. And that is exactly what she played, so Midnight's remains completely unchanged. So, that is all of the changes to the Eras Tour. On screen, I'm showing you the new order of Eras compared to the old ones. And here is a list of all of the cut songs and the new ones. I really hope you enjoyed. Please let me know your thoughts on the changes, and I'll see you next time.